Transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, is a non-invasive brain stimulation technique that uses a rapidly changing magnetic field to induce weak electrical currents within specific brain areas. Members of the Center for Research on Brain, Language, and Music use TMS to address questions about the contribution of specific brain areas to speech, language, and music processing. The timing of activation and the coordination among brain areas are also examined. When the stimulator coil is held against a participant's head, the magnetic pulses emitted can cause a temporary increase or decrease in the activity of the brain region directly underneath. A basic TMS system includes a stimulator box that generates electrical impulses, a stimulator coil that generates the electromagnetic field delivered to the scalp. The field generated by the coil passes unimpeded through the skin and skull, affecting the neurons directly underneath in an area approximately 2 to 3 centimeters deep and 2 to 4 centimeters in radius. An infrared camera and reflective tracking spheres mounted on a headband that track the position of the participant in a three-dimensional coordinate space. Mapping software that allows us to use a 3D representation of a participant's brain and head to guide placement of the coil. TMS requires a detailed rendering of each participant's brain in order to accurately target stimulation to a specific brain area. We obtain an accurate picture by acquiring an anatomical MRI scan of each participant prior to the TMS procedure. The specialized software, such as BrainSight, is used to transform the MRI scan into a 3D representation of a participant's brain. An electromyographic system that records motor evoked potentials, or MEPs, is used to establish the participant's resting motor threshold, or RMT. Specific spots on the participant's head, such as the nose tip and bridge, are registered to the corresponding spots in the 3D model used by the mapping software. Following this registration, infrared sensors located on the coil and on the headband worn by the participant allow for positioning of the coil relative to the participant's brain. EMG electrodes are placed on the hand to help determine the participant's resting motor threshold, or RMT. Single pulses from the coil are used to stimulate the M1 hand area on the motor cortex in order to measure the RMT, or the minimum strength of the pulse required to cause a twitch in the participant's hand. This value is used to calculate the strength of stimulation for the targeted brain region for each participant. Single pulse TMS is used mostly for increasing or assessing cortical excitability and changes in excitability, whereas repetitive TMS, or RTMS, is used to induce periods of inhibition or excitation for extended periods of time ranging from a few seconds to up to 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs>